good morning guys and a welcome welcome into the show we have been going for a good while already for about two and a half hours at least just cruising along here like I told you guys uh, yesterday I was gonna get up uh, well, I don't know if I told you but <clears throat> my plan was to uh, park there in Fargo just take my 10 hour break and get going so that's pretty much what we did I think we had a little tiny bit more than uh, a half an hour off but for the most part it was pretty close so now uh, we already gone through Grand Forks and we're on Highway 2 right now and we got light light flurries going on right now and the left lane there seems to be a little bit covered with snow it's not too bad not too bad but other than that we're just cruising along I'm still waiting for my uh, cars to clear uh, for the border here they still haven't been cleared yet so I'm not sure how much longer that's going to take I told them uh, when I sent in my paperwork that I wanted to cross there today at 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, we got quarter to nine already so uh, still haven't heard from him so I just uh, sent them a message I said where is my parse clearance you know I need to be able to clear pretty soon because uh, I'm probably about well I want to say an hour and three quarters maximum two hours from the border right so I should should have it here within the next hour and a half if not I'm gonna be screwed I won't be able to cross the border and that would suck yeah that really would but hopefully they'll get our right on it and uh, look into it and see what's taking so long hopefully we can get that all cleared and we can get uh, get across the border and make our delivery right it doesn't look like I'm gonna be going too far into Canada only going to be a little tiny bit but other than that the sun has finally risen. we're finally getting a little bit of daylight I know it's a little bit of a bluish color but that's what it is when the sun is not really super bright yet right anyhow let's get on down the road and uh, make this delivery happen I'm still kind of curious on what they're gonna give me afterwards well guys it's looking like we're coming up to the border finally and this is a border that I haven't crossed in a very long 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 time so this is going to be very very much new to me so I don't even know exactly where the trucks needs the trucks needs to go or whatever right which one is the truck lane but we're gonna figure it out and I hope, I hope. If not, they'll tell me where to go. <laughs> I'm sure they will, I'm sure they will. In reality, I wouldn't mind pulling into the duty free here, but. Oh well, we'll just continue on. Not sure which way we're supposed to go up here. I'm guessing this is going to be the US side. And we're going to have to go around and go to the other side. And that's going to be the Canadian side up there. So this is supposedly the border up here, guys. So we are about to enter Canada. Can you believe that? This looks small, like nothing really serious going on up here, right? But anyways, let's go to the Canadian side and uh, see if we can figure out which lane they want us to be in. I think I can already see it. Like usual, they want us to be in the right lane, right? So let's go see if we can uh, get in there. And they got the Peace Garden up here too. It says right there, International Peace Garden, right there. I guess that's where you go to go to the Peace Garden. But I guess we're supposed to go to this side here. So we'll go ahead and get out of here, guys. Crossing and border. see you guys on the other down side. Down. That was a pretty easy border crossing. I just had to walk inside to the building to uh, talk to customs and they told me I went too far I was supposed to park a little bit further back I went all the way underneath the roof there right 
well not on the left side there but on the right side there a little bit underneath the roof they said there's a stop sign a little bit further back and technically I'm supposed to stop there by the stop sign supposedly but oh well they didn't give me a hard time about it very very nice people over here so if you guys are ever watching there uh, from customs here you guys give a big thumbs up there for being nice you don't get that at every single border you know some border officers they might be really really nasty to you I'm trying to look for the correct word but they might be nasty to you and say hey go back or whatever right and so they might have an attitude towards you and this guy was very nice friendly guy really really nice I like that so now we got a hammer down we got 48 kilometers to go to will we get to our uh, customer and uh, hopefully we can get our load off no problem and uh, I still don't know what I'm gonna be doing from here but regardless we'll find out eventually right just finish getting my load off here uh, in the middle of nowhere Timbuktu <laughs> yeah that's right now they're having me go to Winkler Manitoba do a trailer switch over there yes, and then uh, turn left on I'm 23. heading home sweet home yeah I like that idea I like it a lot it's actually fairly windy here I don't know if you guys can see that there's a little bit of blowing snow coming across the road so that makes the windshield really super super cold. Yeah, I gotta go down this way. Meters. Turn left on Highway 23. Yeah, I thought Highway 3 ended way over there by Winkler already, but it's way down here. I'm about 184 kilometers to get to Winkler, Manitoba. So uh, we got a long, long, long ways to go. We are currently in the town of M-I-N-T-O, Manitoba. Kilometers. So yeah, long, long ways to go, but hey, I like it. At least we're going home, right? Go do a trailer switch over there, take that home, and we'll be home for the weekend. Yeah, I like that. Although I'll be going out Sunday again. Just coming into Winkler, Manitoba, guys. Well, we're kinda on the outskirt, but to me this is already part of Winkler up here. And they even got a DOT scale up here on both sides of the highway. Can you guys tell me which one it is? Well, it's this one right here. <laughs> I always get a good kick out of that. But anyways, we are almost here. Yeah, we've managed to get through them bad back road there, bumpy back road. Oh my goodness, it was bumpy down there, but we made it. And uh, even my bread fell down on the floor. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but it. I have it out there on the, in the cabin there, right? And uh, it was so bumpy and whatever it, it even fell out of the cabinet there so uh, when I stop here I'm gonna have to put that back in its place but yeah we'll go do our trailer switch up here and then we got about an hour and 45 minutes drive and we'll be home sweet home yeah I like that man Winkler is starting to grow pretty good look at all these new houses that they got here they never used to be here holy moly wow I'm quite shocked on how many new buildings they've put up over here. They're building another big one right there. You see it up there to the right? A few more right here too. Ay ay ay, this is getting big up here. Speed limit reduced to half. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to stop for this traffic light, but oh wow. Just done my trailer switch a little while ago and uh now it's time to hammer down, make our way home, sweet home, guys. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. The wife is going to be cooking us a really, really nice supper tonight. And I'm hungry. I only had two sandwiches so far today, so I am pretty hungry, that's for sure. Anyhow, we got uh, about 60 more kilometers to go, so 
That's about 40 minutes worth of driving to do. And we should be home, sweet home. Yeah, I like that. And that sun is starting to go down behind us over there. Oh, that looks like that's a penner driver. Yep, that it definitely is. Yep, most likely a company driver too. He's driving the same kind of truck as me. You see quite a few of those out there nowadays, but... Yeah, that looks nice with that sun coming from behind us, nice and yellow. Gives us some nice colors, that's for sure. But anyways, let's go home and uh, go spend our time uh, the evening with the family. Just made it home, guys. I really did. And somebody over here is already making some noises. Get ready. Yeah. Who is excited over here for daddy? Yeah, who is excited over here for daddy? Yeah, you uh, you waiting all day for daddy? Ah, oh, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, and look at that. Wife has got almost supper ready. Yeah, you just looking to see where that camera went, eh? I know, I know. Anyways. Let's go ahead and have supper here in a minute. All right, guys, it is supper time. And this gal over here, she is super excited today, yeah. You are talking a lot today, yeah. And let's take a look on what we're having for supper. Yeah, I know, we're having us a nice stew, little bit of salad, and we got us a good dessert, look at that. A nice pie, yeah. The whole family out here on the table. So let's go ahead and have a good supper and enjoy the time with the family, right? Right, Jesse? Enjoy the time with the family? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. Hey, you missed daddy, yeah.